So there we are. Our company name is what? Um, the Partners LLC. The Partners LLC. Um, the website name is one of our websites. You can say HTTPS um, the Partners. Um, I'm just making up these names. Product name. So what we're selling for today is an ebook written by Dave Partner. Uh, about how to become an awesome test driven development uh, test driven development with Laravel 5.6 that's the name of the ebook by Dave so guys this is an actual course that I just uh, released on Udemy so if you go to my Udemy page you will see it so my Udemy page is essentially uh, that's what I'll use as a callback URL uh, http udemy.com dot com slash user and then slash Dave Ogala. so that's me on Udemy and um, product URL that is where this product is hosted I'm just gonna use something like this just to fill it up say slash product amount the amount of the the cost is 10 or let's say 14 dollars so you just type 14 and it's active and then you can say save so uh first thing you notice is that it brings us back to the index page uh with this form no when we create a new item we want it to take it take us to the the show page or the view page we want to see only that item not the page that lists all items so to do that um, we're going to go to the controller we go to the controller app http controller then in the controller we're going to check out the qr code no not really we're going to check out yeah the qr code then we check out the the, the method the controller action that creates that um, the action is store now this action even though it's named create it doesn't take care of the creation it just helps to open the page look at it's pointing at the folder and the, the blade file it just opens the page but once you click submit this is the function that handles it it receives the contents of your form then it submits it to the database and creates it that's it so but where we have issues is where it tries to redirect look at it taking up it's taking up to the index page In, instead of look at the page is taking us to if we go to resources go to qr code it's taking us to this index page that has the list of all items no we want it to take us to the show the blade all right so we're gonna do show show all right so that is show uh, but then show always demands that you also send in um, a value this parameter the contents of what you just saved in the database so we're gonna add it to put a comma put this put QR code that's the name of the variable on the page and the value of what it will contain is this so this is how um, it should work perfectly let's check if there's any other field that has that issue all right all the other fields are look good so we can go and view this by just um, putting slash one slash one for now uh, eventually we'll have to add a link here so this is the, the item we just created so it contains all the details the created and deleted that um, ID user ID and all so what we want to achieve is that um, somewhere here we need to display a QR code so I will avoid adjusting anything here because we really need to clean this up and make it look cool but before then I just want to get straight to the point and get the QR code displayed so in the next video we'll come straight to um, this function just um, before we create the database we might need to generate QR code or after depending we might need to just generate a QR code we can do um, so that's what we're gonna handle in the next video generate uh, QR code see
data so the data goes so we generate QR code but we have to save it in our file again we save a QR code image in our folder on this side all right so we need to generate QR code save it first then get the path and save the path to where we saved it in the database so it's very it's a very simple uh, method i'll see you in the next video